please welcome to the stage Mr. Ben Whiting. A Facebook friend of mine recently posted on my wall. They made it clear that they were aware of an opinion I had on an issue and that they disagreed. The post was long, fairly emotional, and accompanied by an article supporting their point of view. Now, this person was a friend of mine, so I read the post and the article in their entirety, and something amazing happened. I found myself questioning my beliefs. And I was shocked when I realized that in a matter of moments, I had changed my mind about a conviction I had held since college. Now, this story is complete and utter fiction, because it has never happened to me or anyone <laughs> ever. And the reason it hasn't happened is because of a psychological phenomenon known as the backfire effect, which states that when a person's core convictions are confronted with evidence that contradict it, whether or not the evidence is true, that person tends to double down on their beliefs. So if you get nothing else out of this evening, please, please, please remember that when you disagree with someone on social media, posting a rant with or without an article hurts your cause. Not only that, but it doesn't help any of us foster the dialogue we actually need to have about so many issues that we are facing today. But the question is then, what do we do? If reason and facts have nothing to do with connection, there has to be something more. And it seems to me the one thing that self-help books never really address is that before you can motivate, before you can lead, before you can influence, you have to be able to connect and connect authentically. It's why one person can read a book on sales and triple their numbers. Another person can read the exact same book and be seen as salesy by everyone they encounter. Luckily, human connection is an ability, a skill that can be learned. And I'm very fortunate because as a corporate entertainer, and more specifically, as a mentalist, I have a little insight on the topic. Mind readers have been exploring human connection ever since the dawn of their existence, and they have discovered some amazing discoveries. Of course, they've never shared these with anyone because they want to use what they discover on stage. But I think people are inherently good, and we should not be held back when we have a great idea simply because we have a hard time connecting with people. So I want to tell you three things you can do to connect, and one thing you have to absolutely avoid if you want to connect with people. Imagine a stress-free Thanksgiving dinner conversation about religion and politics. <laughs> the first thing you have to keep in mind when you're trying to connect with someone, especially someone that disagrees with you, do not focus on the quality of the information you're sharing. Focus on the quality of the questions you are asking them. This will make them instinctively want to know what your opinions are, and more to the point, it will help you get insight into their mind. Now, of course, I could elaborate on this a lot. I could tell you the other two things you can do to connect with the people, and I would love to tell you the one thing you absolutely have to avoid doing if you want to connect with someone, but that would take six minutes. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you will give me that opportunity at TEDx Traverse City, and I want to thank you for your time and the opportunity to be here tonight. Y'all were a great audience. Thank you.